everybody, it's Erin, and this is my six-month pregnancy vlog, which means I'm 24 weeks pregnant now. And technically, right now, I'm actually 24 weeks and two days, so you'll have to forgive me. I didn't do my vlog this weekend because I was just busy and just didn't feel like doing it, you know? So I'm a little late. So that means that we've got, like, three months to go till we're, we're full term, and then like three months and a couple weeks until she's here, which is bizarre. But anyway, um, enough about that. I, I, just like my last vlog, I don't have a lot of new symptoms. I have got some, which I'll tell you about, um, but not, not like an insane amount of new symptoms. Um, I started getting a lot of indigestion and like heartburn and just general like discomfort in the like belly area, specifically after I eat. So, um, the life saver that I went out at like, I don't know, it was like 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night, my husband and I, and we got Tums smoothies and they did not pay me to put this in their, in this video. Um, but they are amazing. They're so good. And like, cause I don't really like Tums, but these are really good and they're extra strength. And they say that pregnant women for as an antacid can take um, chew two to three tablets as needed. Pregnant women, the maximum is five tablets a day with the Tums Extra Strength Smoothies. So, they're really good. But anyway, that was a new symptom. Sort of the indigestion, heartburn, like, bleh feeling. Um, so I had that a couple days, and, uh, it kind of sucked. But, what else? Still out of breath a lot. Like, when I talk, or if I, like, go up the stairs. Um, it's getting a lot harder to go from, like, laying down to sitting up or laying down, like, really just laying down to getting up in general. It sucks. It's, like, not fun at all. So that's not very fun. But, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Not really. I found that the last couple of weeks has been, have been pretty uneventful as far as, like, pregnancy goes. Um, so, yeah, like, she's, she's moving a lot and, uh... Like, it, she started now um, where I can watch her, like, a little body part move across my whole stomach, which that's really weird, and it feels weird, and it's kind of alien-like, so at the same, like, I love it, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, Ugh, it freaks me out, and my husband's starting to see a lot more, like, bigger movement where, you know, like, she's really making some impressions on my stomach. So, yeah, he's feeling her a lot more, which is great, um... And other people can feel her now a lot. Like, my mom's felt her. My friend Mel's felt her. My friend Trisha just felt her, like, last week. Um, so that's really cool. I find my appetite, too, has, uh, it's pretty normal. Like, before I could eat a ton of food. But now it's pretty normal. Like, normal to what I can normally eat. But I wanted to show you guys, um, somebody asked me the question as, of what am I using, um, on my belly to help avoid stretch marks. And I know that they're not really avoidable in general because I think they're hereditary. But my mom had stretch marks and so far I don't have any. So far. That could change. But anyway, what I'm using is actually this cocoa butter moisturizing stick from the body shop. Now what I love about this is like literally you open it and like you just twist it and then this, you just rub on your belly. So I like it because you don't have to touch anything. Like, your hands don't have to actually touch the cocoa butter. Um, and it's been really good. So, like, I have a lot of days now where I feel really tight. Like, I literally feel like my belly is going to rip in half. So um, when I get days like that or even nights like that or whatever, I just go grab this, put it all over my belly. Boom. Feels so much better. So that's awesome. And then someone else asked me what I've been using to kind of, like, track my pregnancy. Um, and, of course, I, like, I use um, my vlogs. And I also have a pregnancy journal. And I also have, I use this app. Um, it's called Baby Bump. It's by Alt12. So it's the Baby Bump app. And it's really cool because, like, each week it'll tell you, like, the size of your baby, the baby's weight, kind of what's going on with your baby etc. And then you can add pictures to the app, which you can take just using your iPhone if you want. So it's really cool. I don't remember how much it was on the on the app store, but there's also like a built-in community. There's a kick counter, so if you like want to track the number of movements, things like that. And then they have like baby names, 
um, so that you can like go through their list and save ones you like and stuff like that. But anyway, that app's really cool. I like it. It's called Baby Bump. And if I can, I'll put a link in the description where you can find that. And then I had to show you guys some of the stuff my dad bought um, the baby this week. Or last week, I should say. So cute. So he got her this um, five-piece set, which is purple. And I don't have a lot of purple for her, which is nice. So um, it's got like the cutest little um, rabbit. And then it comes with a, a long sleeve onesie. And a pair of pants with feet. And then the cutest little striped sleeper, which I love. And then a little t-shirt with this. <laughs> love me. Um, so that was really cute. And then he got her these little shoes. These little black patent leather shoes with flowers on them. Which I think are so cute. <laughs> and then he also got her little sunglasses. <laughs> which are the cutest thing on the planet. I think I should just wear these, actually. I'm not going to give them to my baby. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're so cute. So he got her those little presents. And then my mom and dad um, also dropped off my shower gift early. So they actually got us uh, the playpen we registered for, which um, is a playpen, a bassinet, a changer. Like, it's got a changing station on it. Um, it's got a jolly jumper that goes in it, so like you connect it to the sides and then the baby can sit in the playpen and it's like a jumper. Um, but it's such a great playpen, plus it's a travel system, so if we travel we can take it with us wherever we go. So, very cool, we were very excited to get that, and uh, we already have it set up downstairs. And once we rearrange our living room into like how it's going to be when baby's here, I'll do a video and show you guys um, what it looks like, but um, thanks mom and dad. For getting us that because it was very exciting and we're uh it made it a lot more real because i know we have our whole room pretty much done but like it just made it more real because it's in our living room so anyway but i'm going to do the belly shot um and measure my belly and then we'll be done if you have any questions let me know i'm kind of like whenever it's kind of boring like the last couple weeks have been pregnancy wise i don't really have a lot to talk about i still fill a 10 minute video but i don't have a lot to talk about so but I'm going to grab my measuring tape, I'll be right back, and then I'll do the stuff. Okay, so, there's the belly when I sit down. Connects to my boobs. <laughs> Shouldn't have said boobs on my video. Oh, and I went to Lululemon, if you have Lululemon in your, in your place. Got these pants. Freaking love them! They fold down too, so they're perfect. It's their, like, um, now you guys just saw that I'm wearing, like, the granniest underwear ever. But anyway, uh, it's called, I think, their, I don't know, it's their loose fit pant, but I really love them. And I'm going to get, I'm going to get a couple more pair to wear at the hospital, too, because I think they'll be really comfy and they're baggy enough, so. Um, but anyway, here's the belly from the front, from one side, boob and belly, boob and belly. Why do I keep saying boob on my video? And then this way. My butt's gotten so much bigger. It's like, hello, J-Lo booty. And then we'll measure. Measure, measure. Ooh, I have a doctor's... Oh, my head's cut off. Hi. I have a doctor's appointment this Thursday, so I'll have some more stuff to update on my next update. Okay, so looks like we are about 30, just a little over, th oh, my tape measure's off. Why didn't you guys tell me? My tape measure's completely screwed up. It's still screwed up. It's not going to be very accurate if I have it all uneven. Anyway, close enough, whatever. Looks like we're at about 37 and a half. 37 and a half, which means, oh, and weight gain, if you guys want to know how much weight I've gained. I started my pregnancy at 108 pounds, is where I started. I was probably underweight, to be quite honest, and uh, I am now at 133. Last I checked, I might have gained more, but uh, yeah, I've never in my life seen... 130 anything on the scale, so yeah, gain some weight. 
But anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for everybody, for, um, everyone for subscribing and commenting and watching and listening to me ramble, because that's what I do sometimes. We will be back for week 25. And if, like, again, if you've got questions, post them as a comment. Send me a private message. Ask, you can ask me on Formspring, too. I have a Formspring. It's formspring.com. No, formspring.me forward slash Erin Blasky. E-R-I-N-B-L-A-S-K-I-E. So that's it. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.